Hey guys, Drew with Because Jitsu here. We're going to go over three different ways to finish a guillotine from a front headlock position. So this is a position that happens quite often when uh, somebody tries to shoot through your legs. You sprawl out to stop their shot and you're in that position where we have their head and their arm. So our first one here, my opponent shoots in, I block it, I sprawl, I've got arm over his arm and the arm beside his head. The thing is here, if we're trying to really attack the throat, they generally get two hands on this choking arm and pull it down. It can be hard to get underneath the chin. So what I'm going to try to do is get a chin strap where I put my pinky right here against the crook of his chin, just like this. And once I've got that there, I'm going to come underneath here. I went from an overhook, underhook, I'm going to trap him here and pull him forward, which extends his neck a little bit like that. Okay, if he's tucking it down or we're chin dropping him, we pull him forward, it moves it out just enough that I can get my wrist underneath. And I just want to come wrist deep. This four inches right here where it's bone, I want to get to his throat so that just my hand comes in front of his head on this side. So we're here, chin strap, I pull and I suck that in. So I'm wrist deep now on that choke. I'm going to grab the meat of my hand with four fingers here, these four fingers, just like this right here, and now I'm going to go up on my toes and push him backwards, setting my knee underneath, leg over top, crushing in for my choke. Okay, we're setting our leg here and over top, because if I can trap his head on this side, this is where he chokes, if he can get his body on this side, he's safe. That's why I want this leg covering up his back so he can't get around to that safe side. One more time, I block the shot, a chin strap, I'm going to pull him forward, get his neck, so I'm wrist deep now, I'm holding that knee to my hand with my four fingers, I'm going to push him forward, knee in, leg over, crush him, squeeze for the finish. I don't want to extend like this, where his head can pop up, I'm going to crush him so it can't disappear on me. So option number two, it's called a power guillotine. And this one's a nasty one. Um, we're going to get, essentially, a rear naked choke grip, but from a front, front headlock position. Same position here, same situation, we're sprawled out. I'm going to get that chin strap, we're going to set it up just like we did the last one. Underhook, pull, I'm wrist deep. This time I'm not going to settle for wrist deep. I'm still going to grab the meat of my hand, but I'm going to pull it through so now I'm elbow deep. Okay, the inner side of my arm is against the front of his throat. You can see my arm is way through at this point. I'm going to come to my bicep. I want to close this trap right behind his neck. Don't want to leave it out here or here, right behind his neck. Now I'm going to stand him up and lift him essentially by his throat so his body weight hangs off of his neck like this. This one gets worse the higher up you get because it's more of his body weight that's hanging off of his throat. So again, we're here, chin strap, pull, we're wrist deep. We're going to pull it through even more, come to the bicep. Slide this over the back, so now there's no out for his head. Just stand him up, lift him by his throat. Like I said, it's a nasty finish. You can catch bigger guys by this because it's hanging as much weight as their body is off of their throat. Our last option here is actually not a guillotine, but you can do it from the same position if you're wearing a gi, and that's gonna be a frontal Ezekiel. If you've never seen this before, it's the same as any other Ezekiel, except we're hitting it from the front. I'll show you the difference. Same setup as before, we're here, we've got the arm, we're going to get that chin strap, make sure we're wrist deep, but instead of grabbing my own hand this time, I'm going to grab my own sleeve on this side, right here. It's easy because my fingers are already poking through once I got wrist deep. I'm going to grab this. Now it's hard to just circle this around to the back of the neck where I need it, so I'm going to lift my weight off to come here. So now we're basically in a small version of that power guillotine with the gi. And same thing, instead of lifting him up here, I'm just going to scissor my hands like that. Just like any other Ezekiel. So we've got this, we've got here, come back, set it, we're gonna scissor to get the finish. One last time. We're here, get that, that hand in under the throat, we're gonna grab our own sleeve, come back, set it, scissor for the finish. Hope that helps guys. If you like these techniques, feel free to share, like, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.